Hello, today's devotional can be found in Alma, chapter 38, verse 9. And now, my son, I have told you this, that ye may learn wisdom, that ye may learn of me, that there is no other way or means whereby man can be saved, only in and through Christ. Behold, he is the life and the light of the world. Behold, he is the word of truth and righteousness. All right. Or children of God who agreed to come to earth, take on bodies, and become children of men. Adam and Eve fell in the Garden of Eden, thereby cutting us all off from God. Fortunately, there was, a, there was already a plan in place long before we came to earth. Because God knew that Adam and Eve had to fall, had to gain that wisdom, that knowledge of good and evil, in order to become wiser about life, and thereby give up, well, grow up, I guess. And we too must all grow up. But fortunately there is a plan in place, and it's called the Atonement. Christ suffered, died, and came back to life again, thereby buying our souls out of hell and saving us from eternal damnation. He gave us opportunity. He's provided us with opportunities for knowledge and experiences that will give us wisdom. And guess what? This is the through Christ is the only way that we can be saved. I mean, immortality, eternal life, and salvation are free if we want them. I mean, we'll have them either way, but if we acknowledge them, if we acknowledge Christ, we can, we can build a great foundation that will give us a wonderful eternal life full of joy and happiness with our loved ones around us. And really, without him, we are in darkness. We are alone. Without Christ, we cannot communicate with God. We cannot feel God. We cannot try to become as God's reaching our, we cannot try to reach our potential because without Christ we are nothing. Without God we are nothing. And because of Christ, life was breathed back into the world. Satan, Satan loses power over us so long as we don't want him to have power over us, thanks to Jesus Christ. Christ made it so that we have a reason to enjoy this mortal life, to do our best, to do good, to be like Christ in this mortal life, because it helps us build our kingdom for the next life. It helps us learn and grow and prepare to understand the joys and blessings of the next life. And he lights our souls with his spirit that we might be able to learn and grow more than we were able to without him. He is the word of truth. He is the complete truth. And he is the epitaph of righteousness. He is a good example. He is the example of righteousness. And we need to be grateful. for him because not only did he add meaning to this life and purpose to this life, he added purpose to our next life as well. It's because of him that we even have a next life and that we're just not in a state of limbo after death. And we, be, we need to always remember this. We need to be grateful for it. Christ loved the world, and that's why he did what he did, and we should always remember that, and
and I'm grateful for Jesus Christ because I know he died for me that I might be able to live and flourish. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.